now you are requested to deploy five virtual machines in the same virtual network and you know two things about these virtual machines that each of them has a public IP and a private IP and they all require the same inbound and outbound security rules. So now when you see this kind of scenario you can expect to get two questions for the exam and I group them here together so that you can better spot the difference between them. So the first one would be what is the minimum number of network interfaces and the second one is what is the minimum number of NSGs, so network security groups. And for the first question the answer is five, one for each VM and why is that? Because a network interface for a virtual machine can have both a private and a public IP address. So this is the key point here that you have to pay attention to. And in this case, you will need only one network interface for every uh, virtual machine, so five in total. For the second question, for the NSGs, you'll need one for all the uh, VMs. And why is that? It's because the rules, so the inbound and the outbound security rules, are the same for every virtual machine. So, and so you can group them um, together. Let's discuss now about VNets and subnets and virtual machines that are connected to a particular VNet and um, what questions you can expect to see. So you can get a description like this one of a particular VNet and you can be asked if you have a virtual machine that's attached to this um, virtual network and you want this virtual machine to receive a particular IP address from a particular address range, what would you need to do? And for this example, we have this address range, uh, these two address, um, addresses ranges, actually. So the first one is 192.168.1.0/24, and the second one is 10.2.1.0/24. Now, when you see a question like this one, you have the first thing you have to check is if your address range is in the address space of the VNet. The first address range we see that is not, but the second one it is. So in the first case, you'll have to add a two, you have to add a new address space. And once this address space is added in here, then you make sure that your subnet, you have a subnet with this address prefix. And you can see that for the second address range, you don't have any subnet because the subnet that you have has this address prefix with, which is 10.2.0.0 slash 24. If you want to deploy virtual machines, let's take an example of two virtual machines only. And you want that um, the SLA is of 99.99%, then you have to make sure that your virtual machines are deployed in the same availability set. At the exam, you can get um, these options, of course the list is not exhaustive. Uh, they can uh, ask you what about if I deploy them in the same scale set or what about if I used traffic or if I create a traffic manager for um, this requirement. Uh, here you have to know that the availability set is the answer. And why is that? Because if we go to um, SLA for virtual machines, here you can get the information. So you need to make sure, so for an SLA of 99.95%, uh, you have to make sure that uh, the virtual machines are deployed in the same availability set or in the same dedicated host group. So the answer here is availability set.